Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab, and in this video we are going to be checking out a whole bunch of CPU coolers to see which one is the sweet spot for cooling AMD's new and rather good Ryzen 5 9600X, its brand new 6-core CPU, which has proved to be a pretty awesome product in my recent review of both the Ryzen 5 9600X and the 9700X, and you can see the links to those reviews in the description down below or in the banner up above. Today though, we're focusing on the Ryzen 5 9600X, and we're going to be using a very, very cheap cooler, a not so cheap cooler, a standard 120 millimeter fan cooler, a dual fan cooler and a liquid cooler to see where the sweet spot is for cooling this CPU and whether or not you can actually use a very very cheap cooler to save some money because this processor is focused on a more budget focused system. It costs just a 270 bucks which is very reasonable for a brand new mid-range CPU. So without further ado let's check out the coolers. So first up, we have the AMD Wraith Stealth CPU cooler. It costs about seven bucks on Amazon right now, so very, very cheap. And it did come with some of the older uh, AMD processors. So this one does fit on socket AM5, but it is quite small, so it's gonna be questionable as to whether this thing can actually keep our Ryzen 5 9600X cool enough. Next up, it's a personal favorite of mine, the Arctic Freezer 7X, which retails for around 25 bucks and is much more powerful than the AMD Wraith cooler that we looked at just a moment ago. And its fan is larger, so it doesn't have to spin as fast, which means that it is much quieter too. It has a large heat sink, although it's not quite as large as some of the 120 millimeter coolers out there. This thing is only about 100 millimeters wide, but it is very short as well, so you might find that it fits in smaller cases. Next up is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo White. There is a black version of this cooler as well, if you prefer that. And these retail for around 30 bucks. Now they're larger than the Arctic cooler that we looked at a moment ago because they have a single 120 millimeter fan. So they're a little bit taller, a little bit deeper, but it does mean that they will probably be quieter as well. Now these should be able to run our Ryzen 5 9600X with no problems at all. Next up is the Gelid Phantom Black, and this has two 120mm fans and a very large heatsink. And this retails for around 32 33 bucks, depending on where you go. And there is an RGB version, a slightly different version called the Glacier, which I'm going to link to in the description below, because that's got RGB lighting and is a little better value. But we're going to see what a dual fan cooler does with our Ryzen 5 9600X. Next up is the MSI MAG Core Liquid E240, our liquid cooler, which rounds off the top end of our cooling today. It's a 240mm radiator-equipped liquid cooler with dual 120mm fans that are RGB-enabled and a powerful pump, which also has RGB lighting as well. So the test we're using is Cinebench, the multi-core test. So this is a worst case scenario for your CPU. And here we can see the CPU frequencies across all cores varying between about 4.9 and 5 gigahertz. That is a little bit low. And as you can see up here, we have the temperature of 95 degrees C after a 10 minute burning test. So this is probably the worst case scenario, uh, but obviously things are getting a little toasty and the frequencies are a little below where I would expect. Usually it's about 5.1, 5.2 gigahertz across all cores, which we'll see in a minute. So not a great result here for the AMD Wraith Stealth. Next up we have the Arctic Freezer 7X and it looks like the frequencies are a little bit higher. They are sticking uh, above 5.1, going up to 5.2 on some cores and here as you can see we are around 10 or 12 degrees cooler than the AMD Wraith Stealth. So a significant drop in cooling compared to that tiny little cooler and uh, the frequencies seem to be a little bit higher as well which will mean better performance. Now we've stepped up to the larger Cooler Master Halo White, and again here we can see slightly higher frequencies. Some cores are boosting over 5.2 gigahertz, and all of them are staying generally above 5, 5.1. And again, we've got another drop in temperature. So here the CPU sticking around 71, 72 degrees C, which is very, very good. And this thing was also a little bit quieter than the Arctic Cooler. So a step down in noise and a step up in cooling performance. Next up is our dual fan jellied phantom black cooler and uh, here we can see the frequencies are pretty good and if we look up at the temperature it's around the same as the previous cooler from Cooler Master and now the reason for that is that these fans are actually spinning fairly low they're very very quiet it's a much quieter cooler but you're not really getting much extra performance. 
Moving on to the MSI Accor Liquid E240 liquid cooler then, and we can see we've got some decent frequencies, usually staying above 5.1, 5.2 gigahertz, gigahertz on most of the cores. And if we take a quick look at the temperature, we can see why, because we are now finally down below 70 degrees. And in fact, this cooler didn't go above 67 degrees during the testing. So if you want a little bit of extra cooling and uh, potentially something quieter than an all-in-one liquid cooler is worth considering. So where is the sweet spot in cooling for the Ryzen 5 9600X? Well, the AMD Wraith Stealth didn't really keep the processor cool enough, and we actually saw the temperature go well above 90 degrees C, and the frequencies actually start to throttle on the processor itself. So while it's cheap, it, is, it isn't particularly cheerful and did struggle to cool our processor. The next cooler was the Arctic Freezer 7X, and while this performed much, much better than the AMD Wraith Stealth, it still didn't quite manage to tame the processor, and we did see slightly lower frequencies on the processor under load than some of the other larger coolers on test. It is fairly quiet, but you'll see much lower no noise levels from other coolers as well. So while it's fairly cheap, I would only really consider it if you find it from well under 20 bucks, or if your case has a very low CPU cooler height limit. Now the sweet spot for me is probably with a 120mm liquid cooler such as the Cooler Master Halo White. This performed brilliantly, kept the CPU below 75 degrees C in our worst case scenario and we saw some great frequencies on the processor as well that were higher than the previous two processors. So this is probably where my money would go. Now, if you want the same cooling as the Cooler Master Cooler, but with slightly lower noise levels, you might want to consider a dual fan cooler such as the Jellied Phantom Black that we've got here, or the Jellied Glacier Black, which has RGB lighting. So here you'll, you've got more fans, a larger heatsink, so those fans can spin at lower noise levels. However, you're not really going to get that much extra performance, if at all. We didn't really see much benefit here in our testing, but there are dual fan coolers with more powerful fans that will probably shave a few degrees off those temperatures. Now, if you want the very best cooling and very low noise levels, then you might want to consider an all-in-one liquid cooler such as the MSI Core Liquid E240. This managed to knock around 6 or 7 degrees off the peak temperature of our processor, but didn't really net any extra performance. You're really doing this for the best or lowest temperatures and also the lowest noise levels, and it will set you back around 90 or 100 bucks. That's it from this quick little roundup of the best coolers for AMD's Ryzen 5 9600X. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to like and comment on the video as well. It just helps punch me through the algorithm and gets me noticed. And you can see links to all the products that we featured today down in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.